We're here in Oxford, Mississippi for today's big college football matchup. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Number four, Logan has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. On the counter, wrestled down behind the line. Loss of one there for the halfback. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 33. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with the zone, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. Tackle made around the 17-yard line. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Jones on the tackle at the 12-yard line. That brings him second and five. They'll drop in for a loss. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Makes the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Auburn could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Carlson gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Rebels and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is it, you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an yeah. entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. And two, four and three. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Lost a score on the play. That brings us third and 14. Third down, 14 yards to go. Ball on the 21. Locked down right around the 18-yard line. Rick takes him down for a loss behind the line at the 18-yard line. Fourth down. Brown is the punter. Oh. 
He gets out to about the 48-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Auburn holds a field goal lead. He's into the open field. He's at the 40. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. That's a game of 16 on the play. Here we go, here we go. First down. to the tailback and he's tackled at the 37. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. Catch first down, and he's knocked out. That's good for the game. 17 yards. That makes it first and 10. Go, go, go. And down he goes at the 22. That was a loss of two yards. That will bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 22. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. tailback on the screen. Touchdown, Tigers! They decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's a six-play, 52-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So our score, 10-0. Carlson looks ready to kick this one off. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. Just throws this one away. Here's third and 11. Ball on the 24. Four down, four down. Mike six, 33, 33. Red, two, and go. Seven. Go. He's going to go for the home run. A junior makes the catch. Tackle at the 33-yard line. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. run and he's brought down gets out to around the 12. you know brad that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive and this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise being able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive Huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Touchdown! Oh, miss!
It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Auburn's offense is really looking dangerous so far in this one, Kirk. I mean, what's the defense going to do to slow them down? I think you have to start somewhere, and that, that somewhere, I think, is stopping the run. You have to load up, take your chances, put extra numbers in the box. Once you stop the run, that'll kind of allow you to put some pressure on their passing game. Right now, they're not stopping the run or the pass. He's knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. That's good for the that makes it first and ten. Auburn has a three-point lead. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. From their own 37-yard line, second down. He's scrambling, and he's and taken down right around the 44-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. So at the end of one, Auburn in front, 10-7. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Makes it out to about the 30. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. They make the stop at the 35-yard line. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play call. From the 35-yard line, second down. Just throws this one away. This is the eighth play of this drive. Auburn is up by three. He throws a dart to the left. Oh, he drops it. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Kicks up. He clanks it off the upright. No good. Well, that's just unlucky. It looked pretty good from here. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They'll knock him down for a loss. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 33 yard line, it's second down. Watch the pass. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they hit him in the backfield. Call a loss of one yard on the play. That brings up third and 12. Check, 33, 33. Looks middle, got his back. They'll bring him down at about the 33 yard line. Nothing the offense dialed up was enough to get by these guys. They're on right now. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. 
He makes it to the 32-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Auburn is up a field goal. And they'll get him in the backfield. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. He makes it to the 32-yard line. He's going right. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Moore is back awaiting the punt. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's going to try and scramble. There's a missed tackle, and he's level at the 29-yard line. That makes it seven and eight. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. And he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Handsome daylight. Makes it out to about the 43. And he is drilled at the 50. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So the sack makes this a second and long. Quick strike, and he drops it. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. The defense has it. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. What was most impressive is how he followed the play, and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Auburn holds a field goal lead. Here we go! Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Here's the halfback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of six and a Third down. He airs it out. Doesn't get there. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Marshall to punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. 
That's good for the two yards. Four down, four down. That makes it second and eight. two yard line that play was going nowhere yeah give a lot of credit to the defense here recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver up the middle for a nice game good hard running on third down but he couldn't squeeze out that last yard the Tigers using their third and final timeout Brown awaits the snap Gets to about the 41-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Auburn has a three-point lead. He throws left. Tipped away. Great instinctive timing by the corner to deflect the pass. That's just really solid coverage skill. Second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled around the 22-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. I think the defense jumped the gun a little bit on that play. Defense. Looks like they got a little oh, too anxious down. trying to jump the snap count. First down and five to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Fires it quickly. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. And he hits the PAT. A nice six play, 59 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. The score now, 17-7. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. He's tackled at the 20. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 17-7, Auburn. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both teams wanted to establish a running game. Both teams were stubborn in trying to do so, and neither team was successful. Did you get the sense that defense knew what was coming? Hey, dude, first and 10 means run. Yeah, I think, I think when you do it every single time, it doesn't really uh, make it hard for a defense to figure out. You can become much more aggressive. You got to take some chances. I, you want to stick with the run. You want to have that balance. But if you don't push the ball down the field, then I never have to honor it. So mix in some first down passes and runs. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. 
Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gets to about the 27-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. He's on the run. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Tackle around the 43-yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. The penetration by the defense was so good on that play that it didn't matter who the ball carrier was. Anyone would have been brought down for a loss. From the 47-yard line, second down. And down he goes around the 44-yard line. Blairs it and almost had it intercepted. These guys were ready for the pass and played it well to come up with the deflection. That brings us fourth and 11. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20. Nice run, and he's brought down. And he just gets rid of it. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. Moore is back deep to return the punt. Oh, excellent punt. Moore takes it at the 32. Brought down at the 38-yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Down at the 14-yard line. And they make the stop at the two-yard line. See how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. That brings up second and goal. 
They're at the three. Second down. Dog four. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. They go. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Defense stacked in tight here. They'll bring him down around the three-yard line. So it's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Ole Miss is the team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. Throws a bullet. Off his hands, incomplete. Schwartz is intended to see the right play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. Auburn is up seven. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. to the right. That's a great tackle at the 49. Nice run there. That'll make it second and four. Balance throw, got him anyway. Fires it out, and he shoved out of bounds at about the 35. First down. Decent pickup. That brings him second and five. Throws complete, he's hit right away. That's good for a gain of five yards. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And it's caught. He's taken down at the 17. Robinson at the 17 yard line. That makes it Auburn is up a score. Here's a handoff, left side. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. He fights forward to about the 13. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. That's another touchdown pass, his third. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And he converts the extra point. 
So a 12th play, 74-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Carlson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle made at about the 47-yard line. He fights forward to about the 46. That brings up second to nine. Taken down in the backfield. Loss of two yards on the play. That brings up third and 12. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Mike Sick, 33. 33. Green nine, green nine. Tries to thread the needle. It's picked off. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Complete. He's got room. He goes out of bounds at the 46-yard line. That brings him second and one. There's a strike complete. Call it again in four yards. First down. Around the 42 yard line. Runs outside for a nice game. the catch but just not enough for the first yeah they're gonna come up a little bit short here nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down just under three to go in regulation
like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Slings it, and he's tackled the 39-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of three. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. at the 20-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Wants to throw outside, and it's intercepted. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. First and 10. Ball on the 12. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He makes his way to about the 22. Makes it out to about the 33. That's a First This one's all but wrapped up. The Tigers take this game. 27-10. 27. And the Rebels. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.